Hello beautiful souls and welcome back. I am so happy to have you here for this review of the Enchanted Map Oracle. So usually I like to do first impression reviews, but if you've been around my channel for a while you know this deck is one that I love. I've used a whole bunch and I just wanted to share it with you today in case you're unfamiliar with this deck. So again, this is called the Enchanted Map Oracle. It is by Colette Baron reed and it is a 54-card deck. It retails for $18.99 US, which is $24.99 Canadian. And it says, Imagine, between the visible and the unseen is a guiding force that some call spirit, the holy will, the divine, the field, or consciousness. Using this card deck by Colette Van Reed will connect you to that larger consciousness and guide you as you travel along on the journey of your life. The themes of these 40, 54 cards represent some of the places you'll visit, the conditions you may encounter, and the allies and challenges challengers you'll meet as you navigate a metaphoric map of your life's journey. The enclosed guidebook will help you ask the right questions and interpret the messages on the, in the readings. The Enchanted Map Oracle cards were created in order to empower you to understand the story of your fate, destiny, and free will, and allow you to chart a course to live the life of deep purpose, true prosperity, and vibrant love. So I love this deck. I'm not going to lie, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> um, the box is a really nice sturdy box which I appreciate. Here is the guidebook and as you can see I barely use it <laughs> which is typical for me. I'm not one to um, read the guidebooks a lot but let's see we'll crack it open. <laughs> it has a nice little message and then upright and reverse meanings for both cards or for the cards. Um, let's see, is there anything else in here? We have from the artist, we've got about the author. In the front, we have how to use the cards, the purpose of the cards, how to do a reading, different, we've got like six card readings. And then it goes into the cards. So these are the cards, and now the cardstock on these cards is really nice. Nice and thick. They are glossy, and when we first, when I first got this deck, they were a little sticky. Um, and now, when it's really humid, I find sometimes they're still sticky, but usually they shuffle really nicely. They are a typical oracle card size, which is a little big for my small hands, which is why I have a little hard time shuffling them, but um, no different from a typical oracle deck. They shuffle really well. Whoa, if I can shuffle them properly. Um, now, I have seen some people modify this deck where they take off the borders because there's a border on both the front and the back, and that would make them a little more manageable size for people with small hands, but I don't, I don't, I'm afraid to do that. I want to, but I'm afraid to. I also think this border is very beautiful. And now the cards themselves, I'm trying to see if you can see the, the edges. So I have used these cards a lot. I'm sure these cards have been used in well over a hundred readings and there is absolutely nothing wrong with them. There's no fraying on the edges, there's no buckled corners, they have held up really, really well. And now I do store all my uh, decks in their boxes so they are nice and safe between readings um, but I feel like these cards have held up really well. I've had some oracle cards that get dinged along the edges but these ones are very nice. So let me show you a few of the cards so you can get a sense of what the imagery is like on them. So we have the Gentle Gardener, 
Metamorphosis, Rescue, One Ring Circus, Flying, Follow the Leader, Deep Freeze, Spirit of Place, Storm Fields, Magical Map Shifter, that may be one of my favorite cards in the deck, Magic Stream, Stuck in the Mud, Spark, Coming to Life, Ride the Wave, Education, Details, Details, I love that it's got a very um, dark academia aesthetic to it, Solitude, Ghost Land, Peaks of Joy, Cleaning House, Home, Encouragement, Moonlight, Protecting Treasure, Heal the Ouch, Sad Embrace, Strength, Rock Bottom, Commitment. So they are just, they are so beautiful. I absolutely love these cards. Let's take a peek at the guidebook. And how we'll do that is we will shuffle the cards and get one to pop out, and then we'll see how the guidebook phrases things. Thank you. We'll just do home, because it's just a review. So we have home, which is number 27. So it says, you are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. If this card is upright, which it is, it says peace, security, safety, belonging, and all of the fe all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. It is a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love. Love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you are meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on this path, regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you. Home is where the heart is. So sweet little messages from them. I love the artwork on the back of these cards too. I didn't mention that. And they are symmetrical, so no matter which way, some decks, they have a definite up and down, which I'm not the biggest fan of because, I don't know, just personal preference. But these cards are absolutely beautiful, and if you are looking for a new oracle deck, and you like kind of more fantastical kind of imagery, this may be the deck for you. Um, yeah, I just, I think it's beautiful. So that is my review of the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. If you like to see... If you want to see more reviews, I do have a playlist of all of my reviews, which I will link up in the top right-hand corner, as well as down in the description box. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.